Welcome to yet another episode of Applied Salesforce. In this short demo, I shall walk you through the steps in setting up quick action to close a case. And I will also show you how it surfaces both in classic and lightning experience. In addition to it, I will also show you a couple of important support settings that influences case closure. So with this introduction, let me take you through a very simple scenario. Uh, as an admin at Data Over, a fictitious analytics company, you are asked by the service lead to support an easy way for your service agents to close a case. How do you help? Let's cruise long. The first step that you take is to browse for support settings. I'm already on the screen. Um, I will show you a couple of important ones. Uh, so this is uh, the first one, show closed statuses in case status field. The second one is hide save in close button and close links. How it looks in uh, the lightning, if you see without, without the settings, you could see new working and shared. There is no closed, closed uh, uh, status made available and the second one is pertaining to this button save and close you edit a case you find the save and close button whether you need to have this or not decides upon that setting that you have made here uh, save and close button so this becomes handy if you are using knowledge and you allow the service reps to create knowledge articles out of this case uh, so for now I'll check uh, this and I'm not unchecking this I let the button be there and I complete the setup now I'll go back to this case uh, and see if anything changes I just cancel it see this button okay so let it load So the case details and the case details you find this closed uh, now the status made available okay so that's uh, about the support settings let's move on uh, to the support processes so once the support setting is changed updated to include the case status the important thing that you have to do is to see if the status is included as part of the available fields field or the status uh, status uh, pick list field values uh, you have to move that into the selected values pane after this you move on to create you know the uh, quick actions so we get on to case look at look for buttons links and actions and you can create a new action I've already created one so I've created case quick close quick action you can look at the definition the first is action type updated record and the labels and label a name and the message um, case closed so once this is done you need to move to the page layout so I am in case uh, layouts because this is the page that is exposed uh, look for quick actions okay you find one there that you have to find drag and drop to this area which is for classic and move on to mobile and lightning actions if, uh, look for the case quick close quick action that we created drag and drop here onto mobile and lightning experience section so this once this is done you will save this okay so now you can surface to the lightning experience you do a refresh quick refresh and I will let you uh, know where it uh, surfaces mm. okay so and the quick action you find here case uh, quick close action so these are the here you can close the case you have some internet um, comment resolved and closed okay so this is how you could close a case the case is closed now and in um, the uh, you know this classic experience you find in the feed under the feed you have the same option case quick close you'll be able to close the case directly from here result update the case see the case is closed okay so uh, we'll, we'll, there are multiple other ways to do it uh, one is a path in uh, lightning we'll uh, check uh, uh, in a later video thanks for watching